his holy name. Raise your hands. Raise them high. Lift them up high. Give her a good hand. Give her another good hand. How many would stand with me and tap your hands? Tap your hands. I thank you, Lord. And I praise you, Lord. Cause you've been so good. Cause you've been so good. set my soul cause you set my soul well you've been a doctor and you've been a lawyer and you've been a heart fixer and a mind regulator you rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk you made the blind to see and oh lord i thank you lord how many thanks him i thank you lord and I praise you, Lord, cause you've been so good, cause you've been so good. And I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, Lord, cause you set my soul, cause you set my soul. Well, you've been a doctor, and you've been a lawyer, 
Lord. You've been hard fixed around a mind. You rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. You even made the blind to see and oh Lord. Get it going, thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for being good to me. I want to take time and thank you, Jesus, for building a hedge all around me. You built the foundation, made my way plainer. You brought me out of all my sin and shame. And oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And I praise you, Lord. Because you've been so good. Because you've been so good. And I thank you, Lord. And I praise you, Lord. Get her going. Cause you set Keep my moving. soul. Cause you set my soul. Get her well, going. you've been a doctor. And you've been my lawyer. Well, you've been a hard fixer and a mind regulator. You rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. You even made the blind to see. And oh, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Let's thank you tonight. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Cause you've been so good. Cause you've been so good. You've been so good to me. You've been so good to me. Come on, say. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Cause you set my soul. Cause you set my soul. Well, you've been my doctor. And you've been my lawyer. Well, you've been a hard fixer and a mind regulator. You rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. You even made the blind to see. And oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hands. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I've got to thank you, Lord. I've got to thank you, Lord. Cause you've been so good. Cause you've been so good. You've been so good to me. You've been so good to me. I've got to praise you, Lord. Praise the Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I've got to praise you, Lord. I got to praise you, Lord. Cause you set my soul. Cause you set my soul. Well, you've been my doctor. And you've been my lawyer. Well, you've been a hard fixer and a mind regulator. You rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. You even made the blind to see. And oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And I praise you, Lord. Because you've been so good. Because you've been so good. And I thank you, Lord. And I praise you, Lord. Come on, saints. Because you set my soul. Get her moving. Because you set my God soul. God telling you to go. Well, you Somebody's quenching the spirit. Have you been a lawyer? Well, you've been a hard fixer and a mind regulator. You rescued me and you made the dumb to talk and the lame to walk. You made the blind to see and oh Lord, I thank you Lord. Raise your hands. Raise your hands and begin praising God. Come on saints, raise your hands and begin praising God. Hallelujah. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. Hold my head. I hear music. Hold head. my head. I hear music. Hold my head. I hear music. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. Hold my head. I hear singing. Hold my head. I hear singing. Hold my head. I hear singing, oh, there must be a God somewhere. Hold my head, I hear shouting, hold my head. I hear shouting, hold my head. I hear shouting, oh, there must be a God somewhere. Hold my head, I hear music, hold my head. I hear music, hold my head, I hear music, oh, there must be a God somewhere, hold my head, I hear it 
rejoicing over my head. I hear rejoicing over my head. I hear rejoicing. Oh, there must be a God somewhere over my head. You ain't clapping your head. Come on. Over my head. I hear music over my head. I hear music. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. One more time. She's enjoying it. How many of you make one trip? Say, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to rejoice. Let's go. Wake up before I go to preach. Go around here. Go around one time. Do it again, Saints. God's going to bless you. up your hands again and put them antennas real high and go to magnifying and praising God. James means healer. That's why God named me James means healer. Sure as I pray for you, you're going to get healed. God answers my prayer. How many believe that? God answers my prayer. I don't care where they're at. If you're in California, God will send an angel down to them and touch them over there. There's no distance in prayer. If I pray it here, God heals them up there. I'll be fed an airplane, God will heal them up there. I'll be fed a submarine, God will heal them down there. There's no distance in prayer. James 1, go with me to verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers of temptations. I'm fixing to stir something up here tonight. When you fall into divers, divers means many, many temptations. Now listen to this. Go to the third verse now. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. That's what we're going to hit tonight. Now listen. It said, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Turn with me to the fifth chapter, same book, James. Turn with me to the eleventh verse. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Which what? Endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have even uh, the, seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is pitiful and of tender mercies. Listen to that very carefully. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Count, don't leave that word out. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord. And the Lord is very pitiful in tender mercies. Now, I could take you back. That's on patience I've read there tonight. And on healing, count it joy. When you fall into diverse temptations, said, 
knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Now, if you asked 99 out of 100 uh, people how they were healed, they'd tell you just in a second which they're right. He'll tell you in a second that I'm healed by faith in God. Faith in God will make you whole. I don't care what you say or which way you want to go, but I want to show you these different levels and why there's different levels. If you hang on tonight, there's some questions will be answered in your mind. Why has some carried it longer than others? And you look like there's no end to some of the patience or maybe say the faith. Faith, you've just tried it. I prayed for myself. It made me wonder and me doing the praying for them. I prayed myself, and I've smelled it on their breath. And, and then they call me back and say, I got healed. I got to believe them. Hallelujah. And long come a saint of God that I know is living holy and getting that line, and I'll get healed. It'll make you scratch your head and wonder sometimes. But you're not healed by feelings. You're healed by faith. Healed by faith now. Hold on to your faith. Don't lose your faith. Uh, faith. That's the triangle of your faith. Work with patience. And count it joy when you fall in the divers of temptations. Different levels of this. I'm going to get you rooted tonight and see where you're at and see which one does it and which one's the best, which one to hold on to and which one to let go. Amen. But above all, you've got to have faith in God to start with to come to church. You wouldn't come to church if you didn't have faith in God. But you've got faith in God is why you're sitting on that seat tonight. You've got faith that there is a God is why you're here wanting to be healed and don't know how to be healed. You've been prayed for so many times, so many preachers have laid hands on you. There's some of you nearly bald-headed. I mean, to be telling you the truth, but that don't. They had hands on you every time, don't get you healed. There's thousands been laid hands on that ain't still healed. How many believe that? So it don't all come by laying on of hands every time. That's one way you lay hands on the sick and he should recover. I might, that's Bible. All this is the Bible. I don't want to confuse you. But uh, I can take you tonight uh, to some men of God, and I can take you to different levels of them. Take you to Brother Noah tonight. And he was a father of righteousness, was he? Yes, he was. So righteousness don't heal you. Righteousness don't do all the job. Because Noah, God gave him the, the scripture to build it, the mansion to build an ark. How many feet long and how many uh, feet tall and how wide? And build a door for all the things to get aboard, to get aboard. God told him to build a big battleship, like a battleship boy, build it, and get some of everything on it that's on there. He was a father of righteousness. Now, that's Noe. Noe was a father of righteousness. Now, you might want to make up your mind to accept it. Noe was a father of all righteousness. That's what the Bible brings out. Amen. But Noe still didn't get all he needed when he had got righteousness. Righteousness don't do the job by itself. Hallelujah. Faith don't do the job by itself. I'm going to prove this to you tonight, and I want you to get a hold. I'm going to take you where you need to go to get your healing. And uh, some of you are just uh, just give out. You carry sickness until you give out, and you don't you don't know where to go to get it. If you did, you buy your ticket and you fly there. But that don't bring it in. That don't bring healing. Hallelujah. All together, faith do not just bring healing. Hallelujah. You, faith, you can't operate. It's impossible to please God without faith. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him that's got faith. You've got to have faith. The faith of a grain of a mustard seed will move your mountains. It'll move your valleys. It'll glory. It'll make you whole. Your faith will make you whole. How many believe this? But righteousness didn't get the job done because he turned around after God delivered, told him to build that ship, certain ship, and get aboard, get his family on his eight souls, him and his wife and seven more. I mean, uh, six more, his three sons, Sham, Ham, and Japheth and their wives. Get aboard. He said, get aboard the ark. Take your 40-day cruise. 
take you a 40 day cruise. You've worked 120 years on it. It's time for a cruise. Hallelujah. Ain't that wonderful to build God an ark and then God take it, get in and shut the door, take a cruise. Glory to God. He took a cruise and that thing landed on the top of Mountain of Rat. Amen. And God left it there. So after Noah landed and got out, got out, he got drunk. Now, I'm not showing you the bad things of these guys, but I'm showing you righteousness don't get the job done by itself. Now, he was a righteous man. Face it. Nobody else could build a boat but him. God chose Noah to build a boat. And he said, you build a boat and you get on the boat. If you've got faith in your boat and you build it, I'll get on the boat. My God, wake up tonight. Surely if you've got faith enough to build something, he, he will ride it. Hallelujah. Get in. Get in or to hold you up. If it wouldn't hold me up, I wouldn't build it. I wouldn't get aboard. I'd stay out. I'd let the gangplank down, but I'd stay out, honey. Clap your hands. We're going to take a ride tonight. Righteousness by itself. Don't get the job done. You can still like something and have righteousness. You can be so righteous and holy until you look holy, so holy, till you st the 65th chapter of the book there of Isaiah said you look holier than thou. You may not shout a lick, but I'm going to preach this. I'm going to show you these different levels. These different levels. You've got to get on different levels. Some of it not on the right level. You've never reached the right level. You've never got on the right level. You're still hanging on by the skin of your teeth, hoping to get it this way, hoping to get it that way, and you still ain't got it. But I want to show you tonight how to get it. If you get it, you'll keep it, and thank God you'll sail on. Clap your hands for victory tonight. There he was, he failed God. Failed God after he was a father of righteousness. Got out and planted him a vineyard and got drunk. Got drunk. That was no that was no way. All right, Abraham. Let's try Brother Abraham out for just a few minutes. Abraham was a father of all faith. Hallelujah. When a person in the New Testament went to before Jesus died and rose again. Before that time, he went down to Abraham's bosom. Abraham's bosom was a resting place for the saints of God to go rest. Oh, sorry. So he was a father of faith. Holy, a father of faith. So faith don't do it by itself. You come on. A man had righteousness. That wasn't enough. Faith. Abraham had faith. That wasn't enough. Come on, I'm preaching something you need tonight. I'm going to put this gospel plow deep and do it quick. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to bring you out of the muddy grubs. I'm going to bring you out of sickness. Uh, Brother Dobson, going to bring you to the top of your mountain. How many want to go to the top of the mountain? How many want to go to the top of the mountain? Hallelujah. So you see Abraham, he failed God, father of all faith. He, I read this one time in there, and I couldn't understand it. How did he do all them things? And he lied. He was a father of faith and lied. Did he lie? Yes, he did. He told a, a little black one, and black ones are as black as white ones, white ones are black, bad as black ones. How many believe that? Let me tell you something right now. If God killed all liars tonight in this church, I wouldn't have nobody to preach to. I'm afraid there wouldn't be one. Somewhere down the line. You've told one. You've overshadowed one. You've turned the corner. Come on, saints. I'm going to preach it tonight. They might have asked you certain things, and you told them another thing. But you've got to tell the truth, Brother Arthur. You've got to tell the truth and be truthful. The truth will set you free. You will not get free until you tell the truth. Tell the truth. If the truth ain't in you, God ain't in you at all. Come on. preach. I'm preaching, Brother Abraham. Glory to God. He had the promises. I'll get on in some of that in a minute. But he's, he went to the place. He told Sarah one time, said, you are good looking. You are a beautiful woman. I don't believe Abraham would ever marry her if she hadn't been good looking. And uh, he said, we're going to a country. They'll put me away because they'll try to take you for be their wife. Said the king and all of them, are you with me tonight? You better stay with me. He said, they'll kill me to get you said let me do the talking and said i'll answer it they asked him and said oh we got the king picked her out sure enough he liked her looks she was good looking 
He said, I believe I'll just take you to be my wife. Abraham had told her he was his wife. So he took her over to be that. And God spoke to the king, don't you touch her. Don't you touch her. She's not yours. Come on, don't touch her. Don't touch her, king. She's not yours. Leave her alone. Well, I'll make it out where you live in tonight, but I hope I do. Because I'm going to preach you a message you will never, never forget. Oh, glory. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to put that gospel plow, Brother Charles, deep in the ground. And I'm going to plow. I'm going to plow the same things tonight. Abraham, he come to Abraham. God spoke to him and said, don't touch that woman. That's another man's wife. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. So Abraham said, who is she? said, she's that man's wife. said, he told me that she was his sister. She was his sister. And, well, I, I found that in the Bible. I said, man, Abraham, father of all faith, told a black lie and got by with it. But I run and traced it down. She was his sister now. Let's straighten that part out. But to the king, it rung the bell that she wasn't his sister. I'll give her back. I'll turn her loose. But she was his stepsister, stepsister. Come on. Abraham, the father of all faith, looked like it lied, but he moved it on. But God come down and told Sarah, in a certain season from now, it, from this to our own, he said, you're going to have a child. He said, you've took Hagar to be the handmaiden. And said, Hagar, you permitted her to have a little baby for Abraham. Abraham said, I can't have a baby. Go ahead and you go into her, have a baby. And she did, had Ishmael, had Ishmael. Come on, I'm preaching the gospel tonight. You're going to get the gospel. Oh, Lord. So she had Ishmael, and, and, but said, listen, later on, he said, Sarah, you're going to have one of your own. All nations are going to be blessed from the loins of your child. Said you gonna have a she gonna have a child. Glory to God. And got up one night and old Abraham was out in the desert place and he uh, was uh, about a he was about a hundred years old and Sarah was ninety years old and uh, they had to promise. Says Abraham, can you count the sands of the sea? He said no. Can you count the stars? He said no. Neither can you count your blessings. Saints, we got the promise tonight. We can't count our blessings. We got more blessings. If you'll accept them tonight, then you can ever accord for. I'm going to dig on in this. I'm going to show you where we're going, where we come from, what it takes to get it. And there's several different levels of this to get your deliverance. You need deliverance. You need delivers. If you're not taught right, you can't spit white. How many believe that? But I'm preaching what you need tonight to get your deliverance. Abraham said, Sarah, said, how you feel tonight? She said, you're 90 years old. And said, I'm a cool hundred. said, hallelujah. Let's turn out some of the candles and get the lights low. Hey, hallelujah. Let's get cranked up. Let's get the fire going. Hallelujah. He, you know, he not move, you know, not shout, but he's a father of righteousness, was promised a son uh, in his older days, 100 years old, and Sarah, 90 years old. Hallelujah. And was fixed to have a child by the name of Isaac. And Isaac was a son of laughter. Come on. Am I preaching the truth? Abraham had made a mistake, but God didn't make no mistake when he gave him the promise. Isaac was a well digger. Come on. He dug, to, he dug wrong wells in wrong places, too. He was hung up there. But on the other hand, I can look at Jacob. I can look at Jacob. Brother, he stole his brother's birthrights. Yes, sir, I'm just showing you things about these guys tonight, how they come out good. They all, you've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Don't sit there and look at me holier than thou. Let the eat of one of you so good tonight you've never made a mistake. They've all made mistakes, but God corrected them. God helped them to come back into the fold and correct their mistakes. You made them, and you got to correct them. you got to come to God. He that cometh into me, I'll in no wise cast out. Am I preaching tonight? Honey, am I preaching? I've 
come to preach. I've come to run you right down the gun barrel. Hallelujah. Both barrels are loaded tonight. Hallelujah. Old Isaac was born and brought the blessing to all nations. I can look at I, I, I can look at the man of power. I can look at Elijah. How Elijah had power. I can look at Elisha. Got a double portion. Got a double portion of God's spirit. And uh, Jezebel cranked up the guns and got after Elisha and run him. He run and him full of power. He was a man of power. Oh, glory. And went down the road and got under a juniper tree and wished he could die. Wished he could die. And him loaded with power. Oh, power won't do it by itself. Hallelujah. It, it takes the anointing saints of God. It takes the anointing saints of God. You got to get a, where the anointing is. You got to get where a man is that's got the anointing. The anointing will break your yoke. The anointing will, will set the captive free. The Lord will loose blind eyes. Unstop deaf ears. Let the lame walk. And let the dumb talk. The anointing will move curses. It will move it off of you. It will get it out. You can be set free tonight. You can be healed. You come sick. You leave the church healed tonight. According to thy faith, back to faith, you shall be made whole. But these things go deeper than faith. Faith won't do it by itself. I'm going to show you this tonight. Now, all these men that had all this failed God somewhere. Sitting on that seat tonight, you failed God somewhere. Don't sit there and look at me. As I said, holier than thou, you have made mistakes. Some of you has made so many, you couldn't pull off your shoes and count them on your hands and toes. But you'll jump up and holler, I'm righteous. So it was no way. But he got drunk. It takes more than that, honey. you got to get rooted. you got to get rooted. you got to get anchored. you got to stay with God. You say, this is confusing. No, I'm going to bring it to the light. I'm bringing it to pull out the gospel plow and let you hear some word tonight. that will start setting you free, start loosening you of, uh, in your right mind, clothes you and let you be made whole and let you find out the way. Jesus says, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. No man ever cometh to the Father but by me. Oh, glory to God, saints of God. Hallelujah. According to thy faith, so it be unto thee. Back on faith tonight. Faith's good, but it won't get it done alone by itself. And I'm going to prove this to you. Hallelujah. He jumped on over there a little further and got a hold of a man that was a perfect man. A perfect Perfect man. All these disciples made mistakes. I can bring them down one by one. Every single one of them made mistakes, but they made them right. Hallelujah. You can fall, but you can get up. It take, anybody can fall, but it takes a man of God to get up. Pick up your pick up your cross and follow me. Oh glory. Jesus is in this place. Walk in the aisle tonight, wearing the seamless robe, anointed with power. And don't ever forget, he's still a lame leg healer. He's still a blind eye opener. He's still a leper cleanser. He's still a dead man raiser. He's still a gospel preacher. He's still the great I am. He's still the bright morning star. He's still the wonderful counselor, the almighty God, the everlasting father. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the ending. He's the first. He's the last. My God, he's a Nazarite. By the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Clap your hands. Let's jump on the man that he brought to pass, Brother Job. Let's bring him over a little bit. See what he had. He brought in patience. Why? Did the woman with the issue of blood carry? Why did Job make it through? One of the only ones that made it through. That made it through perfect. Perfect. The devil couldn't get him to sin. He tried him. He'll try you, honey. He'll tell your ear to do something wrong. Go do it. It'll be all right. Others do it. I don't care if the whole church does it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If God said you can't do it, you can't do it. Hey, hey, brother, oh, Job, all these things, he sinned not. He was rich. He was rich. It's not a sin to be rich. I can go back and tell you how rich that Abraham was. Abraham was rich. It's not a sin to be rich. I can show you Isaac. He was rich. I can show you Jacob. 
he may have swindled most of his, but he got forgiveness for it. On the way back to meet Esau, he got forgiveness. Met him at the crossroads at the ford, and his brother was going to kill him. But he spent the night. He said, oh, oh, Jacob spent the night in prayer. There ain't but one way to get it settled, and that's prayer. Look to God in prayer. Oh, God will forgive you. If God don't forgive you, you're, you've had it, honey. You've had your day. Oh, oh, Jacob had his day, but he got forgiveness, and his brother forgave him, and he gave him a lot of things for what he done him wrong. But I can look at Job, how rich he was. Maybe say, let's say that he had uh, uh, 7,000 sheep, 500 camels, uh, 500 oxen. He was the richest man in the East. Job, riches don't bring it. Money don't buy it. You go to the doctor and you dying with cancer, dying with some dreadful disease. Oh, your doctor can look you in the eye. I've had three to call me today. Doctors give them up and give them maybe one day or three days or some of them putting hostage. Here we go. They're fixing to die. But there's one thing. I can say to you tonight, when they mention they're sick, have you been out to Brother Dobbs' church? Have you been to Brother Dobbs' church? Have you been to the Paxson Revival Center? He'll pray the prayer of faith for you. The prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise them up. Oh, God will forgive you. And God will take you back into the pool and let the lame walk and the dumb talk, cleanse the lepers and raise the dead. How many believe he, he's alive tonight? I got the keys, he said, to death and hell. And because I live, uh, you live also. And the works I do, a uh, greater works can you do because I go back unto the Father. I'm going to preach tonight. I've come to preach. Wake up. Wake up. Have you considered? God told, seen old Satan walking around. Jeff, where are you going? He said, I'm just roaming around, seeking whom I may devour. Who, who is who? That's me. That's you. He's trying to tear us down. He's trying to get us. He's trying to make you sick. He's trying to kill you. But the Bible said, Jesus, come that we have life and have a more abundant life. But the devil come to steal. He come to steal. He come to kill. He come to destroy. But Jesus said, I come, I come, I come that you have life and have more abundant life. I come to heal you. I come to make you whole. I come to set you free. I come to keep you together. I mean, no separation, no dividing line. I come to put you together. Wives, hallelujah. He may look like he's gone. Had a lady to come to me one time and I prayed for her, I believe, there for about a year. Uh, every time she's going out the door, she say, pray for so-and-so. He'll come home. He'll come home. He left home. Hallelujah. Shacking with somebody else. And uh, one morning she called me about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and said, he's at the door. He's at the door. I said, is he at the door? She said, yes, he's at the door. She said, would you let him in? I said, would you let him in? My God, you've had me praying for a year for him to come home. Now would you let him in? I said, my God, open the door and pick up the suitcase and welcome him home and, and fix him a hot meal. Probably he had one since he left. Let me tell you something. God is love. And if love don't do the job, honey, it'll never get done. God is love. you got to have love in it. you got to put love in the middle of it. I'm preaching on faith and patience tonight. My God, you got to have both of them. But let's see which one are grounded. Oh, brother Job looked at him and said, where are you going, Satan? He said, I'm just roaming around seeking whom I may devour. Oh, glory, wanting to kill you, wanting to destroy you, wanting to tear your home down, wanting to get your husband on the wrong leg. But let me tell you something. You tie a knot in the devil's tail. If you've got the Holy Ghost, you tie a knot in the devil's tail. Hallelujah. And send him down commonwealth. Oh, glory, God's give us anointing. It takes anointing to break the yoke and set the captive free. Loose him that's bound. If you've got enough of the anointing tonight, you can tell Satan where to go back from. That's where he come from. Send him back home. You got to tie a Shine your shoes. Uh, uh, take, your, take the toe of your shoe and shine your shoe and get rid of Satan. Get, get him on the go. God's still God tonight. Honey, we got power. If you got power to cast out devils, you got power to handle Satan tonight. How many people we can handle him? He can't handle us. Glory. Where are you going? He said, I'm just roaming around. 
seeking whom I may devour. He said, have you considered my servant Job? Have you tried him? He knew he was going to set him on one that had the goods. Honey, when patience don't do it, nothing else won't. And I'll tell you, being a pastor for 48, for 48 years, being a pastor, 38 right here, going on 38, I should know what patience to do. Sometimes I feel like doing it myself. I just, I, I, uh, patience is about run out, and uh, I say, God, I believe I'll handle this myself. If you ain't going to handle it, I prayed for years, and you ain't took care of it. I believe I'll take care of this. And, come on. But you can't do it. Every time you try to straighten it out, you'll make a mess out of it. Leave it to God. God said, take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. You will learn you can't do it. It takes God to do it. You've got to be patient with them. Oh, be patient into coming in. Be patient in the going out. He said, I, I'll let you live in houses you didn't build. I'll let you eat food that you didn't grow. He said, I, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'm so glad I'd rather be the head than be the tail. Come on. He said, you can lend and not borrow. I'll fill your pockets with money. I'll put money in the bank. I'll bless you. I won't curse you. I'll let you come out from among them. I'll touch your hand. I feel like preaching now. Honey, we go have church. We go have church. Reckon you're going to jump up and run off and leave your problems. You're going to leave your problems. You, you can sit there and die if you want to. I'm going to rise. I'm going in the city. I'm going in the city. I'm going to go in there and find me food to eat. God's got food for me. God's got delivered for me. Some of you sit there and look down your nose and die. And some of you can frown while others are smiling, while others are shouting, while others are dancing. My God! Oh, I'll get a song on your heart. Get fire in your bones. I'm going to preach tonight. My God, if, if faith can't do it, a patience can do it. A patience will get the job done. Clap your hands. Am I preaching what you needed tonight? Now, listen to me very, very careful here tonight. So Satan decided to kill everything he could, to destroy everything that Job had. Job went to bed one night, a multimillionaire. Got up the next morning a pauper. Yes, he did. If I read the first chapter and the second chapter of Job, it's good, it's good. But from the second chapter to the 42nd chapter, it's rough. But that 42nd chapter of Job closing the book, God pulled up the windows of heaven and poured him out a double portion. I said a double portion. When brother, he went to bed rich and got up poor. He went to bed poor one night and got up the next morning rich. He went to bed a bum and got up a multimillionaire. Oh, God can do it tonight. God can make you rich. God can bring you out from a among the bums. God can take you and let you live and eat hound dog. God can fly it into you. He flew it into Elijah. If he flew it into Elijah, he can fly it into you. Honey, we may have to drink branch water and eat wild cabbage, but preach the word. I'll be instant in season and out of season. He said, the time will come when they shall not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts, we're there tonight. We're there tonight. After their own Lusses heap to themselves teachers, having itch and ears, but be thou watchful in all things, uh, endure afflictions, uh, endure afflictions, hallelujah. But he said, Listen, I fought a good fight. I fought a good fight. I can stand and look the devil in the eye tonight and say, Satan, you ain't run me no worse. And that eat the half of it, you ain't gonna run me no worse. I got my heels in the ground, I got fire in my bones, I, I got the shout of God in my soul. I'm here to stay. I'm not going to leave. They all may leave but one, and I'll be here. I'll, I'll kick you as long as I've got feet. If I lose my feet, I'll stomp you. Hallelujah. I, I'll box you as long as I've got fists. If I lose my fist, I'll nub you. How many believe that? I'll bite you as long as I've got teeth. If I lose my teeth, I'll gum you. Come on. Until the son of son goes back to the son of perdition. Come on, saints of God tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, if we'll get to patience, hold on to patience. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. 
He'll renew your strength. You'll mount up with wings like an eagle. You'll run. I said you'd run. I said you'd run. Some of you'll do it. You'll run and not be weary. You'll walk and not faint. Thank God we're not fainters. We're fighters. We're fighters. Paul looked up. Said Nero's come to get me. He's come to get me. I hear the shuffling of the gates outside there, closing of the gates. Nero's coming after me to take me and have me my, my head cut off, take me to the chopping block. But you know what he said? I fought a good fight. He didn't sit there and get the molly grubs and weak and stumbling and come into church dragging his feet with a frown on his face. Looked like his mother in law moved in, won't move out. How many believe that tonight? Come on. But he's, oh, 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 Paul smile. There, there come the jailer to bring him his food for, for 14 days and nights. He didn't eat a mouthful of it. He didn't drink a drop of water. That man jailer had to bring that food and come back and get it bring him more the next day and take that out. It was 14 days and nights. He knew that Paul didn't need a, a mouthful of food. Honey, you got to fast. You got to pray. You got to look away to God. And if fasting don't get the job done, pray and will. You got to, one ain't no good without the other. But if you put them together, there's power in fasting and praying. Oh, put them together. You will move your mountains. You will pluck up your sycamore trees. You will divide your waters. Honey, I'm going to preach. I've come to preach tonight. Brother John, you started it when I got started. Thank God you told you had in the rain to be a preacher. You had to be a preacher. You had to fire the guns. Hold on, honey. I'm firing the guns tonight. If faith won't get the job done, a patience will. Patience will. You know what's wrong with some of you? You ain't got the patience. You ain't got the patience to wait on the Lord. To wait on the Lord. He'll renew your strength. You'll mount up with wings like an eagle. You'll run and not be weary. You'll walk and not faint. Saints of God, we're headed in there tonight. Clap your hands. I feel the victory. I feel the victory. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. About the time we've waited as long as we think we wait. We can't wait no longer. We'll try to make ourselves do it. You can't do it yourself. If you, if you can do it yourself, try it. You to, the Lord's got to do it. The Lord's got to do it. Oh, Job, come to God. And he endured that affliction. He endured it. He endured it. He may have been afflicted, but he had salvation. Somebody say sometime, she's sick. She can't have nothing. Honey, I've seen the sick pray for more people and get them healed. Then I had some of them to heal. Can't get nobody healed. Come on. I'm preaching faith tonight. I'm preaching. Uh, thank God patience. Uh, patience. I'll uh, get your job done. You know what you like tonight. You like patience. You're not waiting on the Lord. You just try it all day or two. And if you prayed for you've had the sickness. Uh, I'm fixing to dig into it now. You, maybe you say you've had it uh, uh, for a week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it seven days. I've had it three days and nights. What you going to do with a woman that had an issue of blood? There's different levels. There's different levels. There's different levels. And some of his only left. I believe if that woman that had that carried it 12 years would have had the patience and waited. She'd have got it before she did get it. But she waited 12 years. She waited 12 years. Some of you can't wait 12 days. Come on. I'm preaching to you tonight. If you're sick 12 days, I'm sick 12 12 days too long. I agree. Be healed tonight. But my God, my God, wake up. There's different levels of this thing. And you got to get on a higher level. You got to get up there where he is. And you got to get the patience to hold on and wait on the Lord. If I don't get it tonight, I'll get it tomorrow. If I don't get it tomorrow, I'll get it the next day. If I don't get it the next day, I'll get it the next day. I'll wait until my change comes. It's coming. Saints, patience will bring it in. How many people will bring it in? God, give me this message. When I was in the furnace, I'm in the furnace. It lost my voice. Preached 48 years. Lost my voice. But he gave me a message while I was in that sh shape. And I, I'd had it 14 days. And couldn't even whisper. Couldn't even cheep. Couldn't do nothing. But Brother Ned Summy. Give me a little teacup, chihuahua. Just a little thing. Hold it near the palm of your hand. 
I sleeps on the bed with my pillow round about when the phone rings. It's Bart, not about four months old. Hallelujah. He'll run you that crooked uh, telephone wire and snatch it off and take the telephone, drag it over there to me. I've done my part. Now it's time for you to do your part. God's got a job for you. He got one for that dog. He's got one for you. How many believe? And that dog looked at me and looked at that telephone. I thought to myself, why are you bringing me that telephone when I can't even talk? I said, I can try. I can try. I've waited on the Lord 14 days. Haven't whispered. But I believe I try. I believe I try. And I meant to, I meant to say hello. And I said, hallelujah. And I said it clear. And when I said it one time, I said, since I can say it, I believe I'll say it again. I said it seven times. Oh, clear. Each time I'd say it, I'd get clear. Oh, clear and clear. I said, that dog ain't going to do my preaching. That dog ain't going to do my praying. My God, wake up, saints. God called me to preach. God sent me to the pulpit 48 years ago, Brother John, and we still got it tonight. Get your hands. I've had patience to wait on the Lord. If it don't happen tonight, it'll happen tomorrow. If it don't happen tomorrow, I'll get it the next day. It's on its way. I'll wait till my change comes. Thank God I'll get it. He lost it. Hallelujah. But Job waited. He waited. He waited. Now righteousness didn't get it done. Faith didn't get it done, Abraham. That didn't get it done. Power didn't get it done with Elisha. Come on, saints. But patience got the job done. Patience, he said, I'll wait till my change comes. Saints, hallelujah. The best thing to do is quit trying to do and let God. Jesus will come walking the bill of ways at the fourth watch of the night. He'll speak peace to the waters, and there'll be a great calm. He'll come to water under your feet. My God, a man that can talk to the waters, can talk to the wind, can talk to the trees, can talk to my soul, and talk to your soul. He's alive. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Oh, Jesus, oh, come passing by. And when he come passing by, Bartimaeus, what you want? Lord, that I might receive my sight. He said, bring him here. Bartimaeus stopped him. And when he stopped him, they brought Bartimaeus to Jesus. And Jesus said, Bartimaeus, what do you want? Lord, that I might receive my sight. He laid hands on his eyes, healed his eyes, and Bartimaeus left there. Oh, saints of God, you leave your hole tonight. You've waited and waited, and you've waited and waited, but wait till your change comes. I'll guarantee you one thing. is being your pastor here 38 years and preaching the gospel for 48 years. I've seen them wait and wait and wait, but after a while, they'll get it. After a while, they'll come back to church. They've been gone. They've been gone uh, too long, but after a while, I see them dart the doors, swing their hands, and shout, Glory, I'm home, I'm home. Thank God I'm home. Little woman waited 12 years, didn't come, but finally a little boy leaning up against a telephone pole one morning, seen her come out of the doctor's office crying. He said, What's wrong? She said, I come to the doctor. He said, He won't see me no more. He said, I owe a bill, and I'm not able to pay it. But said, uh, I'm going to have to get my healing some way. He said, lady, he said, I got a sack with five biscuits on the inside, headed to the, up into Galilee, where a lame leg healer is. And a blind eye over is the man that can heal. If you'll let me take you to him, I believe you'll leave there whole. I believe you'll leave there healed. Saints, are you here tonight? Are you going to sit there and carry right on and on and on and on and, and just sit there? Why should we here until we die? Don't do it. Oh, clap your hands and shout. Wake up and run about. Oh, dance about. And say, I've come to be delivered. And tonight's my night. I've waited long enough. I've waited too long. But Jesus is passing by, and I'm going to get it. If I've ever preached, I preach tonight. Honey, I preach tonight. I preach you patience. Have you got an ounce of patience? Have you got a little patience? Wait on the Lord. And let the Lord renew your strength. I'm not quite through. 
I'll bring the rest of it and tell you I'm through and pray for everybody. Hallelujah. A woman coming, Brother Johnny, to the church one morning. She'd been coming in every morning for 18 long years. All bent over. Same woman, same aisle, same church, same back problem, same affliction, same sin. Am I preaching tonight? Would you give me a hand and say, you're preaching tonight. You're preaching tonight. You're preaching tonight. My God, we're in the same place. Come straighten it up. Come straighten it out. But let me tell you something. Jesus come by and slapped her on the back. And she straightened up. She straightened up. She kept on waiting. 18 years 18 years went by and she still had it but after a while Jesus passed by and slapped her on the back and she straightened up you know what you need Jesus to do tonight is slap you on your back and let you straighten up let you get up let you fire up let you stand up and be made whole patience 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 Wait upon the Lord. I'll renew your strength. You will mount up with wings like an eagle. You will run and not be weary, brother. But he'll walk and not faint. Yes, sir. It's what hindered you. You did run well. But what hindered you? Some of you used to run these aisles and dance all over this church house. But they parked it. They found a parking place. Will you be patient enough to wait till Jesus can pass by? You can't do it yourself. You try it. You try this. And you try that. All these men of God was great men of God. There weren't nothing wrong with a one of them. Every one of them got out. Their line straightened out. They got their righteousness straightened out. They got their power straightened out. They got everything straightened out. Got right with God. But let me tell you something. Long come a man by the name of Job that had patience. They outdone them all. And let me tell you something. He had the, the patience to wait on the Lord till the Lord could come by and the Lord could heal him. Wait! Wait, you waited this long. Some of them wait 12 years. Some wait 18 years. You ain't got to wait that long. I'm not telling you to wait all these years. Get it tonight. Get it tonight. You waited all these years. Don't wait no longer. I'll get it tonight. Tonight's your night. Clap your hands. Closing on this one. Well, glory. Glory. Well, glory. I said, well, glory. I said, glory. Hallelujah, patience. Oh, get the job done, saints. Wait on him. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, Sister Kathy, but joy uh, cometh in the morning. I may not have it tonight, but I'll get it tomorrow. Come on, saints, wave your hands. Jesus come passing by a pool in Jerusalem by the name of Bethesda, having five porches to hold the lame, the main. All them was waiting for Jesus to pass by. One morning, a man looked up and said, I see a stranger coming down the sidewalk that I've never seen before. He's coming this way. He's cutting across the crowd. There's five porches to, to this pool. Hallelujah. Had that five porches meant Jesus. Five meant Jesus. It meant power. Saints, how many still with me? He walked over, stepped over everybody, stepped over all of them, and went to a certain man that had waited 38 years. 38 years, one of them 12 years, one 18 years, but now man, 38 years had waited for the Lord to come by, and he finally come by. If you wait on God, God will let Jesus come uh, passing by. I'm not going to keep it but another hour and a half. Some of you have frowned up like you was eating persimmons. Come on, saints, I feel it tonight. I feel it tonight. Now listen. Jesus stopped. Nobody had ever seen him. This man had never seen him before. But he finally looked up and looked into the pair of the loveliest eyes 
his eyes had ever beheld. He looked into Jesus' eyes, and Jesus asked him one question. Will thou be made whole? Will you let me heal you? Will thou be made whole? He says, sir, you don't understand. He said, the angel comes down into the pool at a certain season and troubles the water. Then after the troubling of the water, the first step into the pool is made whole of whatsoever disease he's got. Jesus said, you ain't got to get into the pool. All you got to do is rise. Oh, pick up your bed and walk. Pick up your bed and walk. Thank God. Some of you sitting there all stove up tonight and got out the riders, worst riders, new riders. My God, the penicillins and the schisms wouldn't even touch you. My God, all it touch you is for you to rise. Rise. Uh, pick up your bed and walk. Uh, take a trip around the church and say, I got patience. I got patience. I'm going around. I'm going around. Get out of your seats. Get out of your seats. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Everybody in the church, take a trip. Take a trip. Take a trip.